So today we're looking at the short passage in Matthew's Gospel where Jesus stops referring to Simon Peter as Simon and begins to refer to him as Peter. Can I encourage you now to pause this video to grab your Bible and to check it out in Matthew chapter 16 verses 16 to 18. I think there's a real significance behind this name change that Jesus gives to Peter. The name Simon means the one who hears God and then Peter means rock. And as Jesus gives Peter this new name, as he gives him this new identity, he's saying you are no longer one who just hears the voice of God. You are a rock. You are a spiritual rock. Peter, you are one who hears the voice of God and then puts it into action. In the Bible, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, it says that when we are in Christ, we become a new creation. Jesus gave Peter a new identity, a new identity in him. And we too, when we come into relationship with Jesus, we step into a new identity in Christ. But sometimes it feels like there's something holding us back from that. Something holding us back from stepping out into the fulfilment of the plan that Jesus has for each and every one of us. The Bible tells us that when we are in Christ, we don't have to conform to the patterns of this world, but we can be transformed by the renewing of our minds. We don't have to uh, be put under the standards of the world, and yet so often we do. We look for acceptance, we look for significance, we look for security in worldly things, rather than placing that in Jesus. So can I encourage you now to take a couple of minutes at the end of this video and to ask Jesus to show you if there are any areas in your life where you're seeking that significance, you're seeking that security, you're seeking that acceptance from the world and to bring that before him, to give it over to him and to let Jesus break in, to find your significance, to find your security, to find your acceptance in Christ and let him begin that new work in you today.